Oh, it smells. Oh, that is just pure sugar. Oh, no. That's not beer. Hey everyone, I'm Haley. And I'm John. And we're Americans living in Germany. And today, we are going to drink some German beers. Yep, let's go. Yeah, I didn't know how to pour beer until I moved here. But against like the, the yeah. side? I didn't know that you have to pour it against the side to reduce the foam at the top. It looks like basically any beer you've ever seen ever. <laughs> All right, Prost. Prost. Oh, that's nice. That's really good. It's very it's light. Like, it's almost got like um, a like crisp kind of taste, which is like my favorite kind of beer. Oh, and this is just the beer for you then. Yeah, this one's really good. All right, so next we have a Radler, which is basically a combination of beer and lemonade, from what I understand. Sounds good. Yeah, all right, <laughs> gross. Gross. Interesting. It definitely tastes like lemonade at first to me, and then like with a slight tinge of beer. Yeah, I mean, it, it kind of just tastes like a, I mean, to me at least, a flat, sugary beer. Eh, wouldn't probably choose it, but it's not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It's it's refreshing, at least. Yeah. So this one is special. This one is actually a Rauchenbier from Bamberg in northern Bavaria. Rauchen? Yeah, so smoke beer. Apparently, it's actually made by smoking, just like you would smoke meats. Um, by burning beech wood. Okay. So interesting. Oops, I'm a little scared. Oh wow. <laughs> oh, so weird. Oh, that's literally as soon as my nose got into the glass, I smelled bacon. Yeah, it's like drinking leather. <laughs> but oh, I don't. Man. I don't know if I hate it. Actually, let me try again. <laughs> Judges call. This is a. This is, I'm on the struggle bus right now. I would drink it again. I, I mean, I of course probably would, but. <laughs> <laughs> we have two choices of flavors. Uh, there's, well, just pick pink or green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, I'll go with pink. Okay, pink is Himbeer, which is raspberry, and green is Waldmeister, which I'm curious about because Waldmeister literally means forest master, so I'm guessing it's gonna be like foresty? What is it? Yeah, so I'll... Like a pine cone? What is it gonna taste yeah, like? Yeah, I'm glad I chose the, the sugary berry over a bunch of pine cones. Oh, what so, the heck? Oh, it's so green. So that's just Kool Aid right there. Yeah. Alright, ready? Yeah. Prost. Oh, it smells. Oh, that is. Just pure sugar. Oh no, that's not beer. It's beer. Okay, so the weird thing is like, I keep going back for more. I mean, it doesn't smell like beer, that's the thing. Yeah, definitely. Ooh, you know what it tastes like? What? Mine tastes like a green apple Jolly Rancher. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what? But not in like a good way. Wait, so okay, so these are, this is basically just liquefied candy. Yeah, essentially. <laughs> It feels like it. All right. All fair right. Enough. Fair, well, fair enough, Berlin. Yeah. So next up, we've got Schwarz beer or black yes. beer, and I'm guessing this one will be dark. <laughs> if I had to guess. I mean, I would assume. Yeah, it's definitely really dark. If I didn't know any better, I would think this was just cola. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely has a like syrupy soda like coloring. Yeah, it. It and like the exact same amount of foam. There's not nearly as much. Yeah, there's like no head on top. Head yeah, but it looks good. Brus. Interesting. It's like burnt soda. Yeah, you're kind of <laughs> right. It does. It tastes like. It almost tastes like if you left soda out for a while, 
near a campfire slightly. <laughs> like one mile away from a campfire. Like I expected it to be way heavier. It's pretty like light, honestly. I don't like it. Oh no, it's like, oh, the taste is, is interesting. Yeah, I would not drink this again, to be honest. But yet, I keep taking a sip. <laughs> So with this next beer, we're headed west to Cologne. It is Kolsch, which is the most typical beer that is drinking in Cologne. Oh man, I love Cologne so much. Yeah, it's really fun. I like it as well. <laughs> it's like... Let's see if it's, their beer is as good. Fingers crossed. The only way to show that you don't want another Kolsch is to actually put the beer deco or the like little coaster on top of your beer. So then you can say no more. Otherwise, the waiters will just keep refilling it for you is what I've heard. That is, a, <laughs> that is an extra layer of responsibility. Yeah. <laughs> Prost. Prost. Interesting. I mean, I like that it's so small and I think that it's really refreshing so I would continue to order more and more of them. I could see how that could easily get away from me. <laughs> I, yeah, I mean like I'm two sips in and I'm almost done. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> also interesting about Kolsch is that it can only be made within the city limits of Cologne within a certain amount of kilometers. And if it's not, they're actually legally not allowed to call it Kolsch. They have to call it Kolsch inspired. So like champagne. Well, debatable. It's been so cool trying out some German beers today. Which one was your favorite? Um, honestly, probably the Kolsch. Okay, so like you're more of a classic guy. I actually surprisingly really like the Rauchen beer, which I really didn't think I would like, but it's like drinking bacon, and that's just something apparently it's... I enjoy. Fair enough. I mean, they're all like. <laughs> They're all worthwhile trying, I just would never probably drink a few of them ever again. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. Thank you so much for watching this video, and if you'd like to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe to DW Euromax here on YouTube and to like this video. And in the meantime, prost! Prost. Prost, guys.